No, nope, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Aha! LED drivers, why do they make them so confusing? Gone in the days when we used to just go to the wholesalers and just grab any old driver just to repair your down light or outside light or whatever it was. So, we're gonna talk about two types of driver. Constant current and constant voltage. Aren't you lucky? So constant voltage is not really a lot to know. Typically available 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt. That's basically it. And most of them are gonna be 12 volt or 24 volt. Done. We'll get onto constant current. I don't know what it is, but the driver manufacturers for constant current just don't seem to make this easy. So what we've got constant current, we've got 350 milliamp, we've got 500 milliamp, 700 milliamp, and 1050 milliamp, all of which can't be intermixed with each other. So what are the different currents and how does constant current work? Well, basically what it does is it puts one current out, out of the driver to each light and ensures that it actually sees the same current come back and it adjusts the voltage accordingly. So the voltage is not really important, the current is the really important bit. And so if you've got 350 milliamp lights, if you use 700 milliamp lights, it'll blow them up. You don't believe me, do you? Okay, fine, I'll show you. Right, so this driver up here is a current adjustable one. It's also dimmable as well, look. Dim it down, dim it up. Really, really nice driver. So uh, that sets 350 milliamp. Let's change it to 700 milliamp and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate this in reverse polarity because the reverse polarity LED is a little bit more sensitive to overcurrent than the uh, main LED, apparently. Okay, ready? On, red, turn it up, super bright, and what's happening to the red LED? It's getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Oh, there we go, and it's gone. Yep, we've blown it up, cool. So, the type of current you use with the type of lighting you use actually matters. You can't use a 12 volt transform or 12 volt LED driver with 350 milliamp lights, nor can you use a 350 milliamp driver with 12 volt lights. It just doesn't really work out very well. But here's the problem. When you go to the wholesalers and say, can I have a 350 milliamp LED driver? What do they give you? They go, here you go, sir, here's a LED driver. And what do they give you? A constant voltage one not a constant current like you asked for. So what else do we need to watch for other than the operating current? Well, we also need to look at the driver operating wattage. Let me give you an example. This particular driver, which is a Saxby driver, is a 20 watt driver. That's all they actually tell you on here is a 20 watt, but what is the minimum? D does it even have a minimum? Oh, actually, it does have a minimum. All drivers have a minimum. This one actually says on it, two to 58 volts. Well, if you do the maths, so if you do two times 0 0.35, 350 milliamp, 0.35 amps, so two times 0 0.35, you get 0 0.7. So to start this driver, you need 0 0.7 watt. So what about this driver up here? Well, they were actually really nice. ELT actually wrote 10 to 16 watt. So we know we need to get 10 watt as a minimum and 16 watt as a maximum, although that's a really narrow operating wattage, isn't it? Well, how about this one? This one's quite difficult, actually. It just tells us, again, just the voltage. Doesn't isn't as kind. It says 32 to 54 volts. It's 350 milliamp. Well, if we do the maths, we'll find that at 32 volts, 32 times 0.35 is 11.2 watts to start this driver. How about these Meanwell APC 25350s? I love these drivers, but they don't tell you anything at all. It just says output plus 70 volts, no starting voltage. So you'd think that that would run a one watt light, no problem. Well, I'll tell you, it won't. You have to go onto the spec sheet. This is a real pain and I really wish the manufacturers would change this. But if you go on the spec sheet, you'll find that the operating or starting voltage results in a starting wattage of 8.75 watts to get this 25 watt driver going. If you found that video educational, drop something in the comments, just let me know how you found it and what I could improve next time. And if there's anything that you would like covered in the next video.